Hi, in this video, um, and actually the next couple videos, I'm going to show you how to connect Google Data Studio to SQL Server. Um, so here I am in Google Data Studio and under Data Sources, and you can see there's no out-of-the-box way to connect to Microsoft SQL Server. So um, basically, we're going to have some code behind the scenes that uh, it's built in uh, Google Sheets so that it connects to SQL Server, pulls the data in there, and then Google Data Studio can connect to the Google Sheets. So <clears throat> here's our data. So this is just a, a test, a customer aging report um, in which we have like an ID, a client, invoice number, the amount, um, the age of it, 30, 60, 90 days old, um, invoice date. So let's just say you had a I have a database that has customer aging data in it and you want to have a online report um, that is an aging report so you can uh, check, track your receivables. So um, behind the scenes um, uh, there's a Google App Script which is similar to JavaScript um, essentially uh, goes out and connects to the SQL Server database and pulls the data in um, to uh, the Google Sheet. So that's how we get our data into the Google Sheet. Um, and then after that, um, we can connect to uh, the D Google Data Studio to the Google Sheet. So therefore, it's connected to the, the, the SQL database. So here you can see that here's the report that we actually built. Um, and, um, you know, we come in here and and edit it. Um, we can see the. Uh, this is just a pivot table um, that shows the aging um, uh, across the top, and then the clients uh, going down the left column, um, and then the amounts. Um, and then we put a little um, pie graph on here uh, to uh, to also show kind of the 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 amount owed, you know, per client. Um, and then so. Uh, Go and view this report, and you know you can format this, and this is all online. Um, uh, you know now it's a report that's connected directly to your SQL database. 